Artificial intelligence and machine learning are shaping the future of every industry. And I had a chance to work on an AI project with American Express before I even graduated from college. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how I got this opportunity, what I worked on at American Express, how this experience helped me grow, and how you can do the same. Hi, I'm Martha, and I'm a junior transfer at University of California, Berkeley, studying computer science. In the previous video, I've talked about how I got into UC Berkeley CS program, and in this video, listening to your comments, I'm going to be talking about my experience at American Express and about how I got the job. Before we get started, quick disclaimer. Everything I'm going to be talking about in this video are my own personal opinions and my own personal experience and this video is not affiliated by any of the programs that I'm going to be mentioning. Let me introduce you to Breakthrough Tech AI program. It's an 18-month cohort-based program hosted by UCLA, MIT, and Cornell Tech. There is a quick uh, application process for this program where you fill out your basic information, short essay questions, and your previous experience. They're not looking for much experience, but they ha do have some criteria. If you want to learn more about it, the link is in the description. Uh, you can check it out about for eligibility and different program requirements. And I'm going to break this 18 month long program into three parts. And starting with the first one is actually getting your machine learning foundation certification from Cornell Tech. After you learn the foundations of uh, machine learning and AI, you get placed into one of the industry partners of Breakthrough AI. I, I chose uh, American Express, uh, but here are the lists of industry partners that you can choose from. They all bring different projects and sometimes they have multiple teams. And in my case, I chose American Express for their two tower recommendation system model. More on that later. And after completing your project with your industry partner, uh, you get placed into a coding competition called Kaggle. And in, in this coding competition, you try to get the best model out, uh, competing with other participants of this program. Uh, now we're going to dive deeper into each of these three categories. And I'm going to talk about my experience and what you should know before applying. After your application and getting into the program, this is your first step where you learn uh, about the basics of AI and machine learning models. Uh, it's a certification provided by Cornell Tech. In this certification, it's more like a summer class. You're taking it during the summer. Uh, you get readings, you get labs, and then you get like some coding exercise as well as some homework. Um, and there are uh, weekly meetings. Usually, uh, depending on your program, it could be hybrid, it could be on Zoom, it could be in person. Getting your hands dirty with the data sets, actually learning, you know, Jupyter Notebook, how to uh, navigate around the data sets, how to train a model, all the different techniques, a bunch of different techniques that they go over. It is a definitely a big time commitment, uh, especially considering the weekly meetings, four to five hours, uh, and doing your doing your homework on your own time, doing your labs on your own time. So I would say it is like a three to four unit summer class, uh, but it's definitely worth it. I was in the UCLA program and I had to go to UCLA for two or three times. You can still opt in uh, for uh, virtual too. They also cover the cost because they give you a stipend. In my case, in my cohort, it was $2,000 uh, for 18 months. They give you the stipend at the end of the 12th month, at the end of the first year after you successfully delivered your final project with the industry partner. I make an express in my case. But in order to uh, move on to the industry partner phase, working with an industry partner phase, you have to complete this course with a C or higher. I got A. Um, I don't think it was like a crazy challenging course, but it's definitely uh, some kind of time commitment. And after you complete this course successfully, you get your certification that you can put on LinkedIn, that you can put in your resume, that you can, um, you know, put wherever at the end of the day, it's a certification from Cornell University. So it is a very credible certification. After completing your certification during the summer, you're gonna have a chance to apply for different industry partners with their different projects. Uh, sometimes they have multiple teams, sometimes they have uh, multiple projects going on. Uh, and, 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 and this year, American Express had two teams where like other big brands also had multiple teams. Me and my team of six, uh, they will look the two recommend two tower recommendation system model from scratch and I'll explain uh, what a two tower recommendation model is first and then uh, I'll talk about how we've approached it. A two tower recommendation system model is imagine that you have a data set from that data set you extract the user column where you have information about the user and you have information about the product uh, tower. You have a user tower and a product tower, but a product tower has information about the products and user tower has information about the specific user. And you try to recommend uh, the best product to 
the right customer. So basically through embedding vectors, we're trying to see how likely a user is to interact with an item. This is a very high level overview of the model. Uh, I don't want to get too technical in the video. So this is the overview of the, the project that we were working on, basically trying to get the best product from a Mechan Express line to the right customer. And this is how our project went. We have a, a point of contact at a Mechan Express a supervisor that we meet bi-weekly uh, to show our progress, to get feedback and to see how we can you know, improve things. He handed us a very big data set with uh, user information and product information. And we had to do exploratory data analysis on the data set uh, to see like what we have, what we're working with. After that, we've done some uh, data cleaning, obviously, and then some feature engineering. These are all the stuff that you're gonna be learning in the in the summer with the certification program. We've done some feature engineering, we've done some data cleaning, we took uh, care of the outliers and we got the data ready. Once we had the data ready uh, to play with, uh, we start modeling, we start experimenting with different models, different techniques, different approaches that we can take to optimize our results to get the best accuracy as possible. You constantly go back between the step two and step one where you get to step two, try to get a good model, but then you go back to step one to you know change some things in the data and then come back to step two, see how it goes, go back to step one. So I'm going back and forth with the data and I'm working as a team. It was a very key aspect of this whole project. We met weekly to make sure that everyone was doing what they were supposed to do. We had sometimes we had to step up for others, sometimes we had to give some feedback, positive feedback, negative feedback. But the whole experience was actually a real life uh, hands-on scenario where you're working on a team to get the project done. Uh, very, very similar to what you would be doing in the industry. Uh, you have a task, you have a team, and then you try to get the task before the deadline. And after modeling and after trying a bunch of models and try to get uh, as, as, as good accuracy as possible, we start evaluating our model to see like where we stand, how we can improve, how we can go back to the uh, previous steps and how we can do better. And this evaluation also takes some time to you know try to get uh, the, the best model out there as, 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 as possible. And after, after everything, we've deployed our model into a, a, a web application where you're able to um, you know click on a random person and and it'll show you the top three uh, products that our uh, model recommends from uh, that we built from scratch. And it was a really nice, uh, it was a really nice experience. We, we uh, built a really uh, pretty landing page, uh, and our, our supervisor at the American Express really liked it. Uh, I would do this for free, but they paid me, so I'll take that. Um, it was a great experience to both have a certification from Cornell University on machine learning. Uh, and as well as getting hands-on experience with American Express, two really big names, and and um, it's on it's on my resume now. And and this program really helped me a lot to you know say, uh, get offers for two internships for summer, uh, as well as getting into under uh, undergrad research lab on nanotechnology here at Berkeley. Uh, so this program definitely helped me a lot to you know get the resume up and going and, and make me stand out from the crowd. And after you finish this uh, this phase, we're at the 12 month mark now. We got our checks, we're happy, and now it's time for the Kaggle competition. Kaggle competition is a coding competition, basically. You're giving a data set and you compete with every other student in the program. Uh, remember, there are like different branches, LA, MIT, and Cornell Tech as well. So there are like other schools that participate virtually as well. You compete with every other student in the program to get the best model out of possible. You assign a team again. It's always about the teamwork. You assign a team again. Uh, you're giving a data set uh, this year. One project was called Equitable AI for Dermatology. Teams build a machine learning model that classifies skin conditions across various skin tones. And, and the second path and the path I am on is uh, creating a machine learning model to predict ADHD diagnosis using brain activity patterns, improving detection and treatment for uh, for females. Very interesting two concepts. Now we're trying to get the best model out there as possible. Each year they have a different project and this 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 is a final part of the program where you get to apply all the skills that you learned at the certification program, a hands-on experience you learned at your uh, industry partner. Uh, you combine those skills and then you, uh, you apply everything you've learned in this coding competition to try to get the first place. So that wraps up the main points of the program. But on top of all these, they also offer some extra help on career uh, uh, development uh, side of things where they offer lead code practice problems. They, they provide one-on-one -on -one, uh, interview uh, interview process. They provide resume reviews, job hunting, job posts, and, and it's, it's definitely a place where everyone is like pushing each other to you know be better, try to get internships, and most importantly, they offer a group-based mentorship program where you get to connect uh, with uh, with someone in the industry that has been there for a long time, and they get to mentor you, and then you get to meet with, meet with them, ask them questions, and it's a really valuable uh, experience to have. My my mentor uh, currently works at Amazon as a senior 
research scientist. And previously he worked at Cisco, he worked at Nvidia, and he worked at IBM as a research scientist. So he knows a lot and I'm definitely able to learn more, uh, learn a lot from him. Uh, so it's definitely like a gem valuable experience. At the end of this program, I gained very valuable experiences like hands-on AI experience, understanding how AI is used in FinTech and uh, real world problem solving skills that are very valuable. I met with a bunch of different students from different universities, different backgrounds, different passions during throughout this whole program. I was able to network with a lot of people um, and, and it was overall a really good cohort, really amazing experience. And it, it actually makes sense that 80% of the students who complete this program either secure the uh, paid summer internship or full-time role um, because of how much support they provide you and how much uh, like contribution they give you. So overall, this experience really helped me shape my understanding of AI and and I hope it gives you insights uh, into how students can break into AI uh, and work on meaningful projects and through this program I'm able to put both American Express and Cornell University into my resume which makes me stand out from the crowd. If you have any questions about this program or anything in general feel free to drop them in the comments. Thank you for watching. See you next time.